What's up guys, so out of all the videos that's been up on my channel lately, I've realized that a lot of you guys want to see more E90 stuff. I've been doing kind of a little bit of my my cousin's 350. Uh, I just got the new whip in the back, been searching for it, a couple videos on that. And you guys in the comments kept on asking to see the E90 and you guys are here for the E90. So don't think I'm forgetting about this car. Um, this car is the core of this channel. So. I plan on doing a lot of things to it. It's just right now with my budget, I can't afford to do the, the mods that are coming up because everything is getting expensive and expensive. I'm doing the cheaper things now and the things that are expensive are coming up. So, um, right now with this, I have, right now with this, I plan on doing a mod or, or you know, something to customize it at least once every two weeks, but I don't want to upload once every two weeks. So I bought this car to work on as a drift build and or sell it or whatever, flip it to get another drift build. Um, we'll see it where, where this takes us. Uh, as we're working on the E90, I want to have multiple projects. I don't want this channel to be boring or die out and then I won't be able to, you know, give out videos anymore. I want to be able to keep this video, I mean this channel, uh, constantly pushing out videos for you guys. Um, let me know if that's cool with y'all, having E30, you know, other cars, but also, of course, my E90. Um, I do plan on doing a whole lot to it. plan on doing everything next to your actually carbon fiber, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, let's just get back to the main point of this video, which is the top five things I love about this car. Um, after driving all the other cars these past couple days and weeks, I, I, I just came back to this car because it's my beauty. Um, it's, you know, I love this car. So the first thing I will say that I love about this car is the wrap. I get a lot of attention for it when I'm in the drive throughs People always ask me, yo, it's a beautiful paint job. How'd you do it? Where'd you get it done at? And I always tell them I do it myself. It's like the best feeling in the world. Um, also, when I'm in my parking lot at work, people always take pictures of it, like to park next to me. Everyone at work always parks next to me, even one of my managers, so it's super funny. Um, it's just a super cool thing to have. It's, you know, I put a lot of time into it, and it's cool that a lot of people appreciate it. And it just makes me feel better about myself. So that's one of the, that's the first thing that I love about my BMW E90. Um, so if you guys haven't seen, I installed this video, I installed the steering wheel as one of the first, actually it is the first mod I've done to this car. Um, a lot of people on forums say that you know, the steering wheel is the biggest thing for a driver and is the biggest thing for a driver. The, it, the grip is so good. As you can tell, this has this little uh, thumb thing to where it stays here. It's just a very, very comfortable wheel. It looks amazing. I love this steering wheel. And you know, when I drive other BMW 90s, it doesn't even compare, like, driving-wise. It's just, this steering wheel really does make a difference. And that's what I love about this BMW 90. I know I said BMW 90 like a thousand times. Another thing that I really, really like about my car is the sport slash, you know, it's just, it's brown seats, it's sport, it's very, very comfortable seats, some, actually the best uh, seats I've ever sat in in my life. Um, it's very, very comfortable, I love the, how it looks and everything, if I open up the doors, it just looks very, very clean, I love how the seats are, the bolstering, everything about it, it's very, very comfortable, I even use uh, the lug support, everything, I mean, I use everything with these seats. They're very, very comfortable. I actually couldn't believe I was driving with regular um, seats this entire time. Yeah, these seats, honestly, even the rears fold down 30, 60. The, the rear doors have the sun shades. You know, they're sports seats. Fortunately, not heated, but I don't even have that feature, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, they're really, really cool. And this one really applies to all E90s, is how it drives. It honestly drives like a dream. I've sat in this E36, I've sat in my th cousin's 350. Now, 350 is fast, this one's fun to drive because it's convertible, but this one is like the best mixture of luxury and sportiness. It's true it's not fast, and I wish it was a lot faster, but you know, what are you gonna do? I got the E39, I mean the 330, I didn't get the 335. That is an option for many of you guys, but that is also an E90 trim, so they offer that sportiness in the E90 trim. That's what I like about E90. They have all kinds of different models. Um, so this one, unfortunately, is not the fastest one, but you know, it has the juice that I need to have a little bit of fun with. It is more of a luxury car. It is more of a show car than I'm trying to make it into. So, you know, I don't want to do some crazy skids in it and end up getting a car accident and then, or like take it to a track and end up, you know, because everyone, you know, damages their track car. It's just, it's a, it's a fact. It's not really, you know, anything you really do about it. You learn. So this one, I don't really want to make any problems with. So how it is, I'm perfectly content with. Love the car. There's a lot of future things I do to it. I want to do to it, but I mean, the driving is on point with this car. I love it. I love it a lot. I've driven a lot of cars, like I said, 
and this is one of the best and smoothest rides I've ever driven. And yeah, I just want to make sure if I get to the last one that this is all personal opinion based. Um, I'm, I'm, I am somewhat biased. I love BMW a lot, but I mean, I'm not completely biased. I've driven a lot of cars and I have an open mind. Like I love the RX-8. It's one of my dream cars. A lot of people hate on me for that, but I love the RX-8. I love the 350Z. You know, those kind of cars are also really, really fun cars, but you know, me, I've always been a BMW guy and I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. And the last thing that I love on BMW E90 is the fact that there's a lot of lot of aftermarket and OEM parts that you can buy for your car. Now there's a lot of cars that you can't just get aftermarket parts for because they don't make them. And if they do, it's not a lot of different options. And if there is a lot of options, it's a lot of money because they don't make a lot of them. So in the E90, there's so many different things you can do with it. There's so many people who've done things to it that you can go online and look at their cars. Like if you type in wraps, like just you know a regular wrap for a car, 10 out of 10, you will see the like at least in the first page, three or four BMWs on Google Images that been, that BMWs have been wrapped. It's like the first thing that comes up for every single wrap color. As people end up wrapping their BMWs, it's just a thing that you know I guess they can afford it. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Also, guys, I love this feature. Where you hold the thing and everything comes back up. I Carly for life. That app is amazing. Whatever. Got to get back to the video. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video about top five things I like about my car, um, please smash that like button. If you guys want to see me do a whole lot more videos with the E90, please let me know down in the comments. I mean, I do. I am making videos on it, but I plan on making a lot of videos with the E36 because it's also like you know, it's a work in progress. It's a project car. There's a lot of things that needs to get done to it for it to be driven. Um, especially it doesn't have headlights and stuff. So, I'm going to be working on both. If you guys are cool with that, smash that like button. Let me know. Um, if you guys are not cool with that, you want to work just on the E90, then smash that, button, smash that like button still. But just let me know that you want to see more videos of the E90. And I would try to get at least a, one video out every single week like I used to on the E90. And then maybe upload like another video for the E36. So, one for the E36, one for the E90 every single week. Let me know, guys. Peace out. And I'll see you in the next one. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy She got me saying, y'all love her, baby I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy You know